Hello again. When I went shopping a few days ago into one of my favourite stores to buy paint supplies, which is the Spotlight Group in New Zealand, I was reminded again how close Christmas is coming. The store was full of decorations for sale and Christmas cheer and it's almost um, uh, and just over a month before Christmas is upon us. So I decided I wanted to use my favourite Christmas colours on a canvas today and try a few different things. I'm going to do my pad plug pour, which I enjoy doing, but this time I am going to pop a um, funnel over it. This is my funnel pour thing. It's got a piece of plaster on it because it actually split a while ago. I used to use it a lot for things like jam making and pickling and to put into bottles so that I could then get the whatever it was, fruit or whatever, into the jar. Now it has been relegated to my craft box. So I'm going to pop that on the top of there. It's not a firm set, so it'll be interesting to see how much of the paint starts to go through. But I'm going to pour my colours into that and then see what happens. Just straighten that up slightly. Okay, now my Christmas colours today are my favourite ones, well, almost. Green, of course, for the Christmas tree. Red and gold for my decorations. I love silver as well, but I didn't want to use silver today. And the snow, which, of course, here in sunny New Zealand, we don't have that at Christmas time, but that is going to be my alternative colour. And I'm going to start with the white and then just slowly probably pour the rest of the colours into the funnel to see what happens. I'm going to stop just for a minute to say to you I am completely gobsmacked that there is only a small dribble of white paint coming out one side so I'm assuming the paint has basically sealed itself to the uh, funnel there's a little starting to come out on this side as well I will keep filling it. Of course, my concern now is that it will want to tip over or I will knock it over. So we'll see how we go. Okay, well, I think that's quite full enough now. So my next move is to uh, lift the funnel from uh, the pad plug, but I'm going to put my gloves on first. Okay, here we go. This is going to be fun. Let's see what happens when I lift this up. I've got to try and lift it as straight as possible. I have to tell you one thing straight off it is absolutely gorgeous inside it and the paint the way it clung on even though I lifted it two or three centimeters above this I'm just letting it drip which is probably not such a good idea I will. well there's a lot of mixing going on of course which I had a feeling would happen with the red and the white but now that I have done that part of it, I am going to just add a little more paint straight to the plug. Okay, and 
and now I am going to yes I think I'll just I'll stand back and leave that for a little while just to continue to drip away merrily and I'll be back soon to remove the pad plug and start to make a picture on canvas okay I have uh, poured some of previous leftover paint drippings from its container into a cup I'm going to put that around the edges to help that paint flow more freely but first of all I am going to remove the pad plug very carefully lift it pop it onto my plastic sheeting lift the center which is gripping very tightly and oh beautiful pattern gosh all my Christmassy type colors I'm very pleased with how it's gone so far lift this off and put some paint around the edges Okay, time to torch. And it's looking pretty good so far. I've managed to get a drop of my extra colour on the side. Not a problem as I am going to be tilting it, which I will do now. I love the colours, I just love the colours. I'm not so sure about the pattern. I never know what I'm going to do to get when I do a pad plug pour, but the colours are so Christmassy. So I'll give it another torch. I'm very pleased so far that the um, colours haven't muddied up too much. Ah, got that out very easily. Just a tiny bit of paint that was, had hardened. I've got some of the mixing going on, of course, because you put the green, darker green with the white and you'll get the lighter. And of course, as I've said, the red and the white is going to uh, make the pinky shades. But it really hasn't taken over too much. I didn't get too much pink or too much mud. And I'm loving the slight gold shades that are going through it. I'm not sure about taking any more off except possibly this corner. Um, so I'll take this corner first and then think about that corner. I just don't really want the multiple lines that are on there. I want it more free-flowing. And this corner, bring it down just a little further and then across.
beautiful. Just beautiful. I love it. That is pretty much what I was going for. The partial look of the poinsettia flower, which is our Christmas flower here in New Zealand. Well, it's a Christmas flower. I don't know whether I can claim it as the New Zealand one. Um, but it is just beautiful. The poinsettia plant flowers prolifically, or should I say, grows the green and red leaves prolifically during our Christmas period. Um, I can still see a few bubbles which need to be taken out, but otherwise that is perfect. I'm very, very happy with that, even with this slight muddyish look in the middle, even, you know, the, where the paints have merged in, I'm overall, I'm very, very happy with this picture. So I'm going to leave that now. And uh, yes, thank you very much again for joining me and I'll see you next time.